Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Five millimeters. We're at day number two of my scalp. I didn't want to do it two days, but oh well, I just have two videos now. As you all, you know, just saw, the shorter height of cut arms, the normal ones, are now on my Greens Master Flex 21. That allowed me to take the height of cut way, way, way down. We're gonna start at five. I think, honestly, the five millimeter height of cut will be perfectly fine for this situation. I was hitting some dirt before with the McLean yesterday. I think we'll be good. We'll find out here real soon. Let's get this party started. The cut yesterday with the McLean was probably somewhere around like 10 to 12 millimeters, somewhere in there, I'm not really sure. I did a pass with the Toro and a little bit came up, but it wasn't good. So at that point, we went ahead, swapped those arms, got it adjusted down to a five millimeter height of cut and went to town. But then I ran into a problem. I had to take the grass catcher off. The There's a adjustment bar that runs right above the reel and I needed to adjust it but I didn't feel like going and getting all the tools so I just took the grass catcher off and made a mess. I could be happy, but I'm not. It's looking pretty good behind me, but something just still, it's something was saying, no, keep going. So I'm going.
bam that's what I'm talking about right there so thankfully the suction on that Troy belt was actually really really good and I was able to extract most of those clippings and so I did that twice then I went around the perimeter with the landscape blade you all have seen enough landscape blade action this spring and late winter so we're skipping that but I got everything all nice and tidy everything's good the only thing I didn't do is uh, behind the shed because it's way too bumpy and it's still it's way too soggy this bit here is still it's it's miserable but it's it's drying out it's actually the lawn's dried out a whole lot now that uh it's back down to a more appropriate height of cut all that's left now is going ahead getting the patio cleaned off taking the rotary kind of just around in some few places where i spilt some clippings when i finally got to use the grass catcher again and then cleaning up beds still have this little bit to do here yes it's a disaster here but where that coal met edging is there's two new pieces there the basketball goal is kind of a temporary i was bored or well the kids were really bored and i was like okay yeah so that's why that's here but i'm actually going to be able to extend the grass out tie it in down here and then the custom playhouse will fit back in this area there um, so i got a surprise for this area and this is going to be a uh, very fun to follow along with hopefully soon maybe uh, i can talk about that in the next week or two so it took me two days two weeknights normal circumstances it would have been done on a weekend but things have been crazy lately so much stuff going on but i got it down i got it down better than i ever have before super it's it looks just really really good has that brown tinge right now but that's okay that's gonna be going away here in a few weeks there's so much yukon already awake that it's ju it's just begging for it so it was real simple a lot of work though surprisingly not a lot of bags of clippings but well that is quite a bit really for just this size area and i could have gone lower if i wanted to but one thing i didn't do is i didn't hire out some guys on some zero turns to come drive around like their bumper cars and all that garbage no I, I just did it myself like i do every year scalping isn't hard it's something you definitely have to do and that's especially important like i said yesterday when i don't have a dethatcher and the groomer's not on there you got to get rid of that build up somehow of those stolens and scalping's the way to go about doing that they're um they're pretty much gone it's all just all baby bermuda coming in out of dormancy out of that long winter nap ready to soak up those sunshines so here's my scalp we're gonna get back into uh the other things here in the coming weeks the front yard is surprisingly taking it easy after i gave it a little slap around with some t-necks yeah so I'm happy I don't have to mow it every day because I was kind of getting sick of that. Thank you all for watching, you know, number two of the scalp. It's done. Now we wait. We'll see ya.